When it comes to charities and excess wealth, charity begins at home. You start at home. You give goodness to your parents. Remember your parents always. Even if it's just a token amount or even if it's a gift. You live far from your parents, take a small gift. Mom, I've brought this for you. My dad, I've brought this for you. Subhanallah, it is the thought that counts. That's what it is. And I think let us try and liven this up. Even if it is a little pin. Even if it is a little gift, a small thing that they love, they like, something minor. You say, look, I brought this for you. Subhanallah, we ask Allah to make us conscious of our own parents. Because before we know, they will be gone. In fact, even after they are gone, we can forward charities on their behalf. We can give charities and say, Ya Allah, this is for your sake. But I'd like the reward to go to my deceased parents. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all goodness, inshallah. In such a manner that when we grow old, our children can do the same for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about spending on your own spouse and spending on your family members and spending in any good cause. Allah says everyone should spend according to their capacity. So a wife cannot come and tell the husband, look, I need a house like the next door people because she needs to consider the pocket of her husband. And if there's more than one wife for the same husband, she needs to consider the fact that this man has two or three wives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and may He grant us a deep understanding. So, whatever you have, spend from it. Do not be miserly. There are some people, may Allah protect us, who have a lot, but they cannot spend in the house. They are stingy, they hold, they keep it to themselves. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us, Allah says, destruction be upon the one who gathers the wealth and amasses it and counts it. Every day he's counting his money, puts it back. The next day he's checking his balance and he, he's happy, he's smiling. The following day he's looking at it and he's wealthy and he's happy. And he doesn't even spend from it. Allah is cursing such people. Allah says, this person thinks that they are going to live forever. They don't even want to spend. Allah says, nay, they are not going to live forever. They are going to die. And if they die without having spent it, they will suffer a loss. And they may even be thrown into Jahannam if they haven't given their zakat. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us generous. One very vivid description and there are many of them in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what exactly happens to the wealth when you give it. Allah says, وَمَا آتَيْتُم مِّن زَكَاةٍ تُرِيدُونَ وَجَهَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُضْعِفُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when you give out zakat, intending the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then that is what he, he multiplies. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies what we give in charity, if we give it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the verse just before that, or the first part of the verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا آتَيْتُم مِّن رِّبًا لِّيَرْبُوَ فِي أَمْوَالِ النَّاسِ فَلَا يَرْبُوا عِندَ اللَّهِ When you give people a loan, wanting interest in return, it will never grow in the eyes of Allah. It is haram. But when you give Allah a loan, Allah calls it a loan. إِن تُقْرِضُوا اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا يُضَاعِفْهُ لَكُمْ Allah says, when you give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a loan, He will multiply it for you, not only 100%, even beyond to 700%. And Allah says, over and above that, He will forgive you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes it as business with Him. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَتْلُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَأَنفَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً يَرْجُونَ تِجَارَةً لَّن تَبُورَ Allah says definitely those who believe those who spend their wealth in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those who establish their salah and their zakah those who are spending their monies more so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
they have engaged in a business that they will never suffer a loss in. There's never a loss. Imagine if someone tells you, look, invest your money here, you will get 100% returns immediately. I think we would all be looking for that. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells that to us, for some reason, we find ourselves still scratching our heads. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who can give. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really accept it from us as well.